Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris and welcome to Cross Chop. Today and for the first time on this channel, I wanna show you around my game rooms. That's right, with an S. Because I live in an apartment here in St. Louis and I share this space with my girlfriend and our dog. So naturally there's a lot of multi-purpose sensibility that has to be applied to pretty much every nook and cranny. And as a result, all of my gaming stuff is spread out across basically three main areas. It's obviously not ideal, but until we have a house one day, we do what we can with what we get. At the time of filming this video, my collection consisted of just under 600 games spanning 21 different systems. Although I've been playing video games my whole life, I didn't actually catch the collecting bug until the spring of 2014 when I got on Craigslist to buy this guy's N64 bundle, including this CIB copy of Donkey Kong 64. After that, there was no turning back and I've been a game collector ever since. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are ready to go ahead and take a look at the space, so let me show you the first area aka the living room. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, this is part of my living room and you can see my game shelf there in the background. It's a shared space with my girlfriend's desk and her painting easel. Currently, as I mentioned, I've got about 600 physical games, so you can see the majority of them there. Handhelds are stored elsewhere that you'll see. A uh, pretty good size of uh, GameCube games, which we'll see later, as well as N64, pretty good amount of Super Nintendo. And then there on the top, I've got my PS4 box and a Fallout 4 Nuka-Cola box that I got from my Loot Crate. I've got a pretty decent amount of DS and 3DS titles, uh, many of which are actually shared with my girlfriend. Uh, most of these N64 games are mine, and I've got a pretty tiny amount of NES games. It's not really a system I'm crazy about, and I don't mind it by any means, but uh, I actually even like the Genesis and some other PlayStation and Sega platforms more. And you can see here my a uh, relatively small PS1 collection, but I've got a, a good amount of quality games too. And there's that Uncharted Nathan Drake collection box I mentioned, as well as a dog meat plush. He's a pretty cool little guy. He's got his goggles on there. And a couple of little trinkets from Bioshock Infinite, including the Murder of Crows file and a handyman. And there's that Nuka-Cola box as well. Pretty cool. And here's kind of my main living room area. You can see my couch and a coffee table and our entertainment center there, as well as a small CRT with my record collection. This is where I spend most of my time gaming, and you can see I've got my Wii U and PS4 controllers out, as well as my iPad. This is kind of how it typically looks on a Saturday morning, we'll say. But uh, most of these systems are, actually all of these systems are ready to play at a moment's notice. And I've got all of them running through these speakers here, which I'll go through in a little bit more detail here in a moment. Um, you can see my PS4 there with the stereo and there's the Wii U, the Wii, and my Indigo GameCube with the Game Boy Player below it. I actually have three GameCubes now. The PS4 is kind of my console of choice for this generation so far. I love the Wii U, but I do most of my multi-platform gaming, of course, on the PS4, and I'm really, really happy with it. The Wii U is a blast to have. I've got the black model, obviously, as you can see there, a 32 gigabyte. And I've really been enjoying a lot of the first party titles that I have with that system. So quite a fun one to have in the collection. And I like the gamepad a lot too. And there's of course the Wii. And I use that for all of my Wii games as well as GameCube games. And I've got a pretty good amount of GameCube games as I mentioned, I recently passed 100 games on that. So I'll quickly show you here some rows of those GameCube games, and you can see some pretty good titles in there and some crappy ones as well, of course. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those I love, and it's one of my favorite Nintendo systems. So here's a few highlight games, uh, some of my favorite ones from when I was a kid and to this day. And of course, here is the almighty Sega Genesis, uh, another awesome console. And I prefer the Super Nintendo, but I've had a lot of fun with my Genesis too. And I actually got this hardware for $10 at a flea market a couple years ago. So I'm really happy to have that one in my collection. And of course, here is the Super Nintendo right beside it, the competitor of the Genesis during that time period. And my girlfriend and I, between the two of us, have a pretty good amount of Super Nintendo games. I think we've got around 50 some at the moment, but here are some of the highlights of that collection that we have. And there's just so many wonderful, timeless games on that system. So this is just a, a favorite of mine to pop in and play a card, even for just a couple of minutes, if not for multiple hours at a time. 
And of course here is the Nintendo 64. Now this one is actually RGB modded. I do have a second one. It's a jungle green in 64, but that one's put away in storage because I really don't have anywhere to put it. And here are a few of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64 as well. Great system. Below those consoles, I keep these sort of tote bags with uh, loose controllers and other peripherals and things that like that that I want to keep clean and in as nice of condition as possible. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers doing this kind of similar method and it's really worked well for me and you can see of course a zapper down there. Here's where I keep all of my GameCube and Wii controllers, things like that. I have a lot of GameCube controllers. Um, if you haven't seen my GameCube controller collection video, that'd be a good one to check out. In this other bag I keep all of our loose Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games, as well as Sega Game Gear games. So you can see a few of those here. And here are some of my favorite Game Boy games, both original Game Boy and some Game Boy Color highlights. That's a, a system I have a lot of fond memories with. And in this final bag at the end, I've got just some boxes. The Sega Game Gear itself is in that big bag I just took out. And beside the entertainment center, we've got this charging station, which is where I keep all of our Wii remotes, the PS4 controllers, the Wii U gamepad, the Wii U Pro controller, uh, actually a paper shredder you can see there. And this is just a random Canon printer and kind of a funny decoration that my girlfriend put on the wall. This is Nicaraguan currency, or at least representations of it. So it's kind of a funny sort of piece to have on the wall next to these controller stations. To the right of that entertainment center, we keep the NES and this little CRT, it's a little Orion VCR combo. It's one that my girlfriend had as a kid and she uh, decided to pop it in here so we can easily just boot up the NES. It looks much better on that than it does on the HD TV. And above the NES and CRT, I've got my record player. Really glad to have that in the living room as well. It's nice to kick back on the couch and listen to some records. Here is Converge's Axe to Fall and kind of a root beer splatter finish. One of my favorite records by that band. And it's nice to have this all set up the way it is because we can actually listen to records and watch movies and play games all on our single setup here in the entertainment center. So it's a really comfortable space. It's a place to relax and it's close to the kitchen. And as you can see here, here's just some uh, random samplings from my record collection. Got a pretty good mix of stuff in there. A lot of it is admittedly classic rock and um, metal and punk and other rock and roll records, things like that. But I do have, as you can see there, Mother 2 soundtrack, which for those of you who aren't sure, that's the Earthbound soundtrack. Here are a couple of seven inch records that I've got in my collection. I don't have too many of those, but the ones that I do have, I like quite a bit. And above the entertainment center, we've got some speakers here. These are some RCA speakers I had from an old CD player that sound really nice through the stereo that we've got here in the living room. And these are actually some bigger Sony speakers that I popped underneath the RCA ones. I got these for $10 at a flea market over in Indiana. So now I can have all four of those speakers running and it really makes music and games and movies all sound great. Those lower ones have a much better bass response, which I like. Down here below the record collection is where we keep the majority of our movies. We've got some over in storage too, in a chest and in a tote, I believe as well. But a lot of Blu-rays and down in here, we've got some other extra cords for game systems as well as Wii remote covers, some more DVDs over there. I think those are Christmas DVDs. Just basically other storage and kind of other nerdy items. Over here, you might be wondering why I'm showing you a bookshelf. Isn't this supposed to be a game room after all? But there is a method to this madness. This is to show you that I keep some of my camera storage over here, as well as some of my PC games and some other game guides. This is a nice little area to have pretty close to the living room. So if I'm editing on my laptop, I've got nice easy access to some of these items. Moving along to the third part of this game room tour, I'm gonna to show you our spare bedroom slash second game room, I suppose. This is where I keep a smaller HD TV. There's a bed, of course, as you can see here for when guests come. And some of my other systems, some of these aren't hooked up at the moment, but I really like this space and I have a lot of good plans for it in the future to become a better hangout sort of room. 
it's nice to have a lot of these posters up that I wouldn't necessarily want up in our living room where we're gonna have much higher traffic from guests and you know when parents come visit and stuff they don't have to deal with all of the nonsense that I would of course go nuts over but this is a cool space it's kind of a creative zone and it's a nice place to relax and it's a conversation starter for sure over here is a shelf of boxes and other collectibles and things like that. You can see I've got SNES boxes and N64 boxes as well as a bunch of little figures from like the World of Nintendo line and a handful of Amiibo. There of course is my box NES action set. My girlfriend and I bought that actually together so it's kind of a shared item. There's the Retro 3-pack Amiibo, still sealed. That Mega Man Legacy Collection is opened. I've just got Mega Man popped in there still. I did an unboxing video of him if you're curious and would like to see that. Got some boxed NES games, just a few, and some boxed Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance titles there. Really proud of that Donkey Kong and the Kirby's Dream Land. Those boxes are in great shape, and I love those games. Here are a few boxed in SNES games and these, of course, the Super NES Super Scope 6. That's all CIB. Donkey Kong Country, of course, one of my favorites on the Super Nintendo and Donkey Kong Country 3. Still missing the box for Donkey Kong Country 2, but I definitely hope to add that eventually. We have the cartridge. Down here we've got some 3DS and DS boxes, some boxed Nintendo 64 peripherals, and of course games. There's a Link Between Worlds Zelda 3DS XL. There's my boxed yellow N64 controller. It's in great shape too. I was really happy when I found that one day. You'll see that I've got, of course, all these N64 boxes facing with their green side out front, or at least the ones that have a green side. And I personally just thought it looked a little bit nicer that way. Adding just a little bit of character to the shelf, we've got some Legend of Zelda and Super Mario figures. Down here, I've got some GameCube, Game Boy Advance, more 3DS, and of course, some Wii U items. It looks like just with the Twilight Princess HD with the Wolf Link Amiibo there, as well as this uh, Skull Kid and Majora's Mask 3D box. Samus, of course, on guard. Of course, Metroid Zero Mission, CIB, as well as Metroid Fusion, two wonderful games. Really happy to have those in my collection. Easily two of my favorites on the Game Boy Advance. And down here is kind of the Wii U and Wii shelf. I've got some of those wired fight pads, the box Wii Play, of course. Skyward Sword complete in box with the gold Wii remote, GoldenEye 007 with the gold Wii controller. The Wii U Pro controller, complete Pokemon Soul Silver version, still has the Pokewalker in it too. And some GameCube controllers, the Japanese Super Smash Brothers editions to be precise. And in the very back, there's some complete in box Sega Game Gear titles. Those are actually all of my girlfriends. She had a Game Gear back in the day and I did not. And the hope is that one day we'll have more space to display these things properly and to section them off a little bit better by publisher or company. Over here is kind of a little music sort of corner. I've got some band posters and then down below a couple of my guitars. I actually have four guitars at the moment, all of which are electric. These are the two that I like to keep out the most. The blue one because it has humbuckers and I like to bang around on it the most. And then the one on the left is a Fender Strat. I keep that one out because it has a nice sound and I would prefer to beat around on it more than some of my other nicer guitars, which I'll show in a future video. I play all of my guitars through this amp for the most part over here. It's a PV Valve King. It's a 100 watt tube head. And I've got it running through this Marshall 4x12. This is a very budget friendly Marshall 4x12. I got this as a birthday gift from my girlfriend back when I was in college, and I only actually have two guitar pedals at the moment, just this chromatic tuner and the famous Boss HM2, which in my opinion is the best heavy metal pedal of all time. Over here is kind of a shelf where I keep recent pickups so I can sort and catalog and clean and decide where to put them on the shelf. As you saw, it's getting pretty crowded, so I have to always figure out where that's gonna go. And over here is kind of a secondary gaming area. Most of the time I just have the PS3 hooked up, but I sometimes will hook up the PS2, the Xbox, or even the Sega Master System for testing and gameplay purposes. Here we've got, of course, Spyro the Dragon playing on the TV. And here's my PS2. I got this pretty recently, complete in box for 20 bucks. I had a PS2 back when I still lived over in Indiana but it was shared with my siblings and I never had one of my own, so I'm really glad to have my own now. And this of course is my PS3 Slim, one of my favorite systems of all time. 
I have quite a few PS3 games and I've got a lot of the best titles and here are a few of my personal favorites from the system. A lot of really good memories with these games, especially Mass Effect, The Last of Us, and I would say uh, Bioshock Infinite as well. Here's the Sega Master System I have. I only have a couple of games from that, and I got this by winning a contest by my buddy NeoSolid22. This is the original Xbox that I got from my friend Heath. Down here is where I store extra Amiibo, my other two guitars, this Mario Kart 7 racetrack, and a bunch of other things, including a second black shelf that I need to build one day. And as you can see here is a bunch of my other Amiibo. Nowhere to put these at the moment, so they're in storage, which is really sad. They're just begging for me to let them out of their tub here. And once I get hold of the final two or three Amiibo that I'm hoping to get, I plan on doing an Amiibo collection video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Well guys, that was my 2016 Crosschop Game Room Tour, and I really hope you enjoyed seeing my collection and the space it resides in. I'd love to know what you enjoyed seeing during this Game Room Tour, so leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite part was. And if this was your first Crosschop video and you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Thanks for hanging out at Crosschop today, and as always, play heavy.